Hi! In this video I'm going to show you really quickly how to use the Snapseed app to do some simple edits to a photograph. So click on the plus symbol to open up your photograph. I'm going to choose this little photograph of a bee that someone shared on a Facebook group. And then down the bottom click on Tools and you're going to use the Selective tool which is down the left hand side. Okay. Now the first thing you need to do or see is down the bottom you can see a little plus symbol and a little I. You make sure the plus symbol is blue and then you tap um, anywhere on your um, photograph that you want to edit. So I've just tapped down on the right hand side there. I want to turn the background more white. So I'm going to use the B of that selected tool by scrolling to the right to raise up the brightness. You can go too far with this, so you do have to play about with what levels you're happy with. Once you're happy with that, can you see that only that area has been made bright? I'm going to tap on the plus symbol and put some little selected tools all the way around this B and raise up the brightness all the way around until I'm happy with it. And um, there's a bit down the bottom that I need to tinker with. Now a bit down the side there, which I'm going to do, and another bit by his little foot there. That I'm going to do. Right, I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to click the tick button because you're only allowed to use a certain amount of selective tools at any one time. So I'm going to go back into tools and go back into selective tools because I'm going to use the selective tool again, but this time I'm going to tinker about with the little bee itself. So I'm going to tap on the little bee. One down the bottom there. I'm going to raise up the brightness and you can, if you go too far, it starts to look unnatural. So have a play about the settings, then scroll up and you can see that there are actually four tools within that um, selective tool. A contrast tool, which brings out um, a bit more of the contrast. Saturation brings out a bit of the colour. That's too much. So I'm only going to do a little bit. And a structure, which again, if you go too far, it starts to look unnatural. So you only want to play about with these tools to do some minute editing. So I'm going to put a little bit on his head, a little bit of contrast, a little bit of saturation, a little bit of structure. I'm going to press tick. Now I'm going to finish this edit off by getting rid of all those little black dots around the edge that you can see there. Um, that sort of detract away from the bee. So I'm going to go to tools and I'm going to use the healing brush tool. Um, for this one now and I'm going to zoom in for this because the healing brush is quite big oops I'll see there I've gone I've done a bit too far and um, go back and um, because it can take a little bit of the surrounding edges too so I'm just going to tap if you see there that's gone too far I'm going to need to zoom in a bit more there and getting closer to do these ones and zoom back out again to do these others so I'll just keep tapping to get rid of them, get rid of that, oops, I've taken a bit there, so I'm going to go back on that, I'm going to zoom in on that bit, to do these little ones, oops, and I could go around the whole of that image, taking these little bits off to really, to really tighten up the image, okay, once you're happy, press tick, go to export, and go to save, okay, now, that's using a white background, but if I wanted to use, um, I've got something in my gallery that I took the other day, that one. If you wanted to use a photograph that has a back bit of a black background, you can do the exact same thing. I'm going to go to the selective tool. I'm going to tap up there and I'm going to bring the brightness down rather than up so that I've got perfect black in the background. I'm going to bring out a little bit of brightness there to bring that floor out a little bit. And I'm going to go into the saturation, get a bit of um, interest going on that floor. Okay. Um, and there you have it, using the selective tool to tinker with some of your images to make them better. Have fun.